guys, it's Emma from Prairie Haven. I'm doing a review of The Break by Katharina Vermetz. This was on the CBC, um, CBC Canada Reads uh, competition, I believe. I could be totally mistaken about that, but that's where I kind of heard about it was on the CBC. Um, this is a, a Aboriginal author, uh, Métis, and this is quite the book. It's really dark. Uh, this has very dark subject matter. It comes with a trigger warning. This is the trigger warning. This book is about recovering and healing from violence. It contains scenes of sexual and physical violence and depictions of vicarious trauma. And yes, it definitely has that in there. And I had to be very careful. I started reading this one on my lunch breaks at work and I had to actually take it home because I was actually being triggered at work because of this, because of what happened to uh, one of the characters in here. And this is a very uh, good depiction of um, some social issues that are uh, being brought current, especially up here in Canada. Um, I'll read the back. When Stella was a young Métis mother, looks out, <clears throat> sorry, when Stella, a young Métis mother, looks out her window one evening and sees someone in trouble on the, on the break, a barren field, an isolated strip of land outside her house. She calls the police to alert them of a possible crime. In a series of shifting narratives, people who are connected with the violence, police, family, and friends tell their personal stories leading up to, leading up to that fateful night. Lou, a social worker, grapples with the departure of her live-in boyfriend. Cheryl, an artist, mourns the premature death of her sister, Rain. Paulina, a single mother, struggles to trust her new partner. Phoenix, a homeless teenager, is released from a youth detention center. Officer Scott, a Métis policeman, feels caught between two, two worlds as he patrols the city. Through their various perspectives, a larger, more comprehensive story about the lives in this community and the after effects of trauma emerges. Seeking understanding and strength, the break shows the resiliency of Indigenous women and the unwavering power of family love. It is a compelling intergenerational intergener family saga that positions Katharina Vermet as an exciting new voice in literature. I can't uh, agree with that last statement enough. Um, this book was absolutely fantastic. There is a scene in here, uh, three quarters of the way through the book, between the uh, Métis officer and his mother about um, being uh, Métis. And I think that whole uh, chapter is something that should be read by almost everybody because I couldn't put that into words. Um, myself, obviously, because I'm not, um, I don't have any indigenous blood in me, but I think that's something that a lot of people should read, um, just to get a little bit more perspective. Um, this, yeah, definitely full of trigger warnings, extremely dark book, but it does show that resiliency that the back of the book talked about and, uh, witnessing it firsthand and whatnot. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, really well written and the voices each of the individual individual characters in this each have their own voice in this book and I find that's really remarkable writing when you can differentiate between them just by the writing itself without having to constantly look at the chapter to see who that is and uh, Katharina has an absolute knack for doing that because sometimes uh, writers, when they're writing from multiple pers um, character points, they seem to kind of, som sometimes the characters blend, and that's where it gets a little bit confusing. You're constantly being like, okay, to the front of the book, who's reading? You know, I didn't find that. After I started getting into this, and I s started recognizing each of their individual voices from the young girls straight through uh, to the, the, um, the top matriarch of the family, yeah, individual voices, absolutely. Um, fantastic, I highly recommend it. Um, but like I said, if you have any kind of trauma or uh, are easily triggered, maybe pass on this one. But I, you gotta read it. But there's a reason why it was nominated for that award. So good, okay.